I, okay. I, I feel that a lot of the money that's that's given to charity is wasted in the administration process. A lot of the money that's given to major charities is also uh, taken by individuals within the organization for their own personal enrichment and the, and for their own friends and so on. If you look at the World Bank or the IMF on loans the, to third world countries, which are extremely high interest loans, debilitating loans for those countries, um, they're often taken and subverted by people in positions of power within the government and the society who take that money and keep it for themselves, put it in their own coffers, give that money to other individuals with power and authority within their society, and the people of the country suffer. Um, maybe a road is built to a mine and then a bunch of uh, tanks and armored personnel carriers and weapons are bought for the soldiers to protect the road and the mine and the, and the sale of, the, of whatever resources are extracted while the common people suffer there. I think a lot of those problems are organizational problems. They're structural problems, not only within the IMF and the World Bank, but within the governments and the societies themselves. I'm working with some friends right now to start off a microcredit charity and for those of you who aren't familiar with microcredit what what it's like is a, a small loan or a small business loan there's a lot of people out there uh, for whom a thousand five thousand dollars is uh, is really a lot of money but in many countries around the world that can make or break a, a small business so we're gonna seek out people and have them put together a business plan, a business proposal, maybe with the help of somebody working with us, and and try to try to find which ones are viable and give them a small loan. Now these loans are going to be no interest loans, and we have they, as they pay those loans back, we're going to take that money that they that they pay back and reloan it out to somebody else. So in that way, the the money gets recycled and maybe can eventually go through five or ten projects. You know. Um, there's a gentleman, I'm sorry I'm unfamiliar with his name right now, but he won, a, he won a Nobel Peace Prize for having the same type of program. I believe it was in Bangladesh and, and maybe in India as well. And uh, he, had the, he had a 95% or a 98% uh, repayment rate on his loans, which is far superior to any bank in the world, you know. With this organization, we're looking to overcome a lot of those problems through the, the actual design of the organization and by uh, giving the decision-making power to groups of people rather than to any one individual who can come up there and in a tyrannical way take control, you know? Um, that's the easiest way for me to explain it perhaps to the, to the layman, you know, or somebody who hasn't studied that topic or inter is interested in organizational analysis and decision-making processes and so on. And it's very difficult to find literature on the topic. You might check. Uh, find find literature on it. You might find one. I found one book at Harvard University Press. It's a graduate level textbook for about five hundred dollars. You know, you don't find it in chapters or Barnes and Noble. It's not something that's discussed by the average person because they're supposed to just submit to some type of uh, authoritarian, tyrannical structure. Go get a job at Subway. Go get a job at Walmart. Go get a job at Enron. You know, I heard Enron stock is just soaring. You should go get a job there. You know, the people in positions of power within that company. You know, look what they did when they had when they had all that authority and control. I mean, even the major shareholders in that corporation suffered as a result of their, uh, you know, their overwhelming power and and uh, authority. We'll have a lot more information on the website. It's either going to be CalebStarns.com or CalebStarns.net. We're in the process of building a new website right now. Yeah. It's probably going to be up and running in about a month. Remember, uh, fighters is dumb, so it might not work out so well at the beginning. It might take a while. Yep.